All right, folks, welcome back. Um, finally got a bit of time at the car again. I took a week off work to try and get this thing done. Um, bit of a list gathered up, as you can see. Most of this needs done before paint. Hoping to get it to paint in the next few weeks if I can, so hence why I booked a week off to try and get it all done. On today's agenda, I need to get the welder fired up. I have to put tabs on for the grill because the previous owner must have run a different type of grill or something. Um, there's no tabs for the Mark III grill on. i to do that. Um, the front kit is going to come back off and I have a few bits of rust to sort. I don't know if you can see them or not. I can hope that any of the cells and stuff needs done. Um, the welder's going to be out in the next few days mainly I think because it's depressing me and I just want it all done now. Um, the likes of a few spare holes in the engine bay need welded up, fuse box holes need welded up, um, a few rev nut holes here and there need welded up. I need to add a wee tab on down in here to secure the edge of this lip with. Um, and mainly just the rest of its rust repair. There's a wee tiny bit, you can't see it at the minute because the kit's fitted, but there's a tiny bit in behind the back quarter panel about there somewhere. Gaps, I'm still not happy with. I need to fettle this gap a tiny bit more because as you can see, it's sitting near enough flush. I can't even get a fingernail in. So I'm gonna have to do something with that. Um, but it'll all work itself out. Yeah, here we go. That's the two of them clamped on where they need to be. Um, I've took measurements off another shell that I have lying here. So, time to get the two of them welded on. That went well. Let them cool, then I can fire the wee plastic doodads in and then work out how I'm going to mount the top of the grill. So that's the two tabs on. Um, I think how to get the back of the grill on is to weld a bit of flat up, cut it off at the side, same height as the grill, and then put a rev knot into that so I can just bolt the top of the grill into place. It doesn't need to be holding hold by the weight, so it should be ample. Now the front grill's in, on to the next job. I cut out far too much whenever I went to fit the kit on both sides. <laughs> and I got a bit trigger happy with the angle grinder. So it's time to try and make up wee infill pieces. And I think I'm gonna put a right angle on it too so that I can screw into the kit as well, just to give it a bit more rigidity at the front. So I already have my trusty bit of cardboard, CAD, cardboard aided design. I'm gonna cut the patch out, tack it in, then remove the kit, weld it all in, and that's another job off the list. Now, because of my stupidly oversized intercooler, I've no room for bumper brackets, so I think I'm gonna to have to take them out on the far side of that uh, chassis leg and 
bring them out can't get over and out on both sides so i'm gonna have to work on that one as well some stage standing by the edge now looking Well, that's the grill on. The front corners filled in. I need to buff them back yet, but they're filled in. I'm gonna take the rest of the kit off now to get at the rusty bits in the inner wings I showed you earlier. Um, once the turbo bits arrive, I've ordered SCH10 bends and stuff. Once they arrive, I can mock the turbos up and then the engine and stuff's coming back out of the engine bay. So hopefully that'll be exciting in the next few days. Um, but for now, Crack the music on, it's time for a time lapse. And that's us ready for another day. That'll do me for today, I think. That'll get us ahead of the game for tomorrow. Over here isn't too bad. There's no rust holes at all on this inner wing. Uh, or A-post or footwell. So I will tackle this mess of an A-post tomorrow. It's really not great. So I have to take the door off, I think, and get a couple of patches made. Um, the cell end's not great either. But the only bad bit on the car, um, Thankfully the rest of it seems to have held up or been replaced at some point, but originality isn't the game here, so I'm not too worried really. Um, that'll do me for today's episode, I believe. Um, but thanks for watching once again. If you like what you're seeing, please click the subscribe button. Um, like it, give it a share on social media. Tell your granny, tell your aunties. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>